Welcome back to the Alcamoto Workshop yet again and uh, we've got a great one here for you today and we're moving on now, we're nearly complete with the bike for this winter season. So after this one, there's only a couple of minor things we need to do to my bike because we've got lots to do to other people's and hopefully if the UK comes out lockdown and they allow us to ride again, we will be out back on the road and that's what we're here for, aren't we? So, uh, but for now, we did promise last week that we were going to do the top and bottom rocker covers. Uh, so that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, done a little bit of custom work to the lower rockers, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And we're going to show you how to remove those top and lower uh, covers for you to do any maintenance or custom work for yourself. So let's uh, get into it, folks, after the intro. See you in a moment. Okay, so this is what we did last week and during the week uh, we've put the show lacquer over the top of these now so these are ready to go on. So these were uh, standard rail collection uh, lower rocker covers in the gloss black. Okay, so what we've done then is just put the masking around with the fine line and done the lovely gold colour which matches all the gold pinstriping already on my bike and then we've just put the 2K lacquer over the top, we've got the clear coat over now so we can't feel the ridges on uh, the stripes. So these are gonna look absolutely fantastic on the bike. And the only thing we've got to wait for now is the tops, they have been posted. Uh, so we're going for the black covers with the brass bolts on top. So in this packet, from Hog Parts here in the UK. There's a plug for them. Complimentary sticker. Complimentary. Okay, so these are the lower rocker gaskets. thing I always use is a genuine or you know never buy anything cheap when it comes to your engine so these are genuine uh, James's gaskets uh, for uh, the top end on the bike okay so always go for quality uh, there's a pack of two in there and they're not too expensive uh, so that's what we're going to use for going underneath on the lower rockers Okay, so the first thing we have to do is remove, if you've got them fitted, I've got the chrome caps on my rockers and these will be replaced with either a gold or a brass plated uh, one after we've fitted the new top rockers. Okay, so if you pop those two off, just tilt it back and then there is the plug for your coil, just release that at the back, pop that off and you've got all that room to work now so that's a lot easier. Okay, just one little tap and then off she comes. Okay, I'm on the wrong side of the bike here really, we'll pull that off from the other side. As easy as that. Okay, so we have to remove the spark plugs now. And the reason being is, what we have to do is bring the engine to top dead center. Now top dead centre, uh, if you imagine 
both your pistons, and you might have one piston slightly down, and one piston slightly off the top of uh, the cylinder head. And top dead center is the highest point of both pistons uh, at any given time uh, on each stroke. So what we have to do is remove these plugs and then we're gonna put something down there, soft, i.e. like a straw, uh, which is very commonly used. And then you feel that when you spin the rear wheel, the highest point, and then the pressure should come off the springs on your rockers, okay? And you can just about see the springs on the rocker shaft here to explain on the rocker shaft itself, when you take the tension off that, you should be able to have a little bit of play in those rockers, uh, given the name of the rocker shaft. So when that's at top dead center, you will be able to have a little bit of feel on there and you'll know that the pressure's off the springs. So it's safe then to remove the bolts without any tension on there. And that is the position you want to when you put everything back. Okay. Okay, so I've put a pencil in there just to show you guys what will happen as that wheel rocks around. You can see it's just starting to come up now. Okay, so she's just gone over compression. So just from the feel of that now, I can tell that both of those are more or less at top dead center. You could feel the engine go tight and then go slack, so she, you know she was over top dead center. Okay, so when you're quite happy that you've established top dead center, which I know by measuring with the old trusty pencil. Now remember, it's easy to get something caught in these because of the angle when it comes up, it might trap it. So just keep checking as it comes up, but use a straw if you've got one handy. And then, you know, because obviously if that breaks off and you lose that inside it, you'll have a job fishing that out. So a straw is the best way. Just easy to show you guys with this, then it's easy to uh, to wash that coming up and down. But when you're happy, that's at top dead center uh, and there's no tension whatsoever on these rocker shafts and springs here, uh, you're quite safe now just to remove these bolts and then we can remove these lower rocker covers off and get ready to uh, replace it with the uh, replacement items. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so once you're happy, you've cleaned the head down, we've got the new gasket on, we've chased through the threads as well with the thread cleaners, and um, we're just ready now to put the new lower rocker cover on. Now I think it's easier if I come around the back side. Just push 
Oops, those cables, we should have probably removed those cables. We've got enough to play with there. Okay. Set that down and then we can line up the holes. Okay, so when you're putting the main bolts in, we'll put a touch of thread lock on these. On the rocker shaft itself, it has a slot cut out for you to put the bolts in. So you've got to line those up. As you see, if it's not lined up, the bolt won't drop down. And once you know the right, just a touch of thread lock. You only need a drop. And don't use the high strength stuff, I've mentioned this before. Never tighten these fully down straight away, just, if you can, just wind them down by hand. Or at the very least, just until you touch ground with them. like so. I'll do that with the other two and then we've got the three bolts inside here and the two external uh, quarter inch bolts on the outside. What we'll do is we'll tighten these and torque these down to spec first and then we can go ahead and tighten the other five bolts up and that's it. <clears throat> if you notice now just as we're talking down we're going opposite on each bolt, okay. So if we start off with that one, and then just as it starts to get home, you just feel it there, just got one finger on the end of the ratchet. That'll do, and then onto the next one. Okay, and then we'll torque them up now. Okay, so once you've carefully tightened down those in sequence for the top four main bolts, the 5 16 bolts, those are going to be torqued down to around 20 to 24 Newton meters. Okay. So that's the first one. And then go to the opposite corner. Same again. And then we'll just double check that. Okay, just with one finger on the torque wrench. Opposite corner. I always use the one finger method because even though it clicks, you see that, and it's just as far as it'll go without putting any strain on it. And that's all you need. So we've got the three quarter inch now, and then the two Allen bolts on the other side. So we'll get the torque specifications for them and then go ahead and torque them up. Okay, for the last two Allen screws, these are about 10 to just under 14 Newton meters. And you'll find it difficult to get in with a torque wrench, obviously because you see uh, the mount here. You have no way you're gonna get that in. You may get it on that side, but we'll just do that by feel. Now 10 to 13 Newton meters isn't a lot anyway. So basically it's just wind it down until it's flush. I'm just using a bit of extra help here for the spanner and just do it by feel. And just tight there, you can just start to feel the bolt start to pull. And as soon as you've done that, you know you're not going to go anymore. You go too much, the last thing you want to do is stretch or 
at the very most, what you don't want to do is break the bolt. So, so all you want is a little bit of tension on, like that, and that'll do. They're not going anywhere. So I'm quite happy now. We've got these torqued down, the three torqued down on the inside, and the two Allen screws there. So that basically is how to fit your lower cover to your bike. So there's no messing around with timing. There's no messing around with having to do the uh, tap it settings because they're on hydraulic lifters anyway, so they're all preset. We've got the bolts down there. Make sure as well when you put this shaft through that you just put a drop of oil inside it uh, just to help to lubricate that before the oil gets pulled up when the engine starts. And that's about all you need to do. Make sure your gaskets are all replaced. Uh, we've got new gaskets, lower gaskets, we've got the new rubber gaskets here and around the outside here where your top cover is going to sit. So we'll go ahead now and remove the rear and do exactly the same process. Okay, so it is a bit fiddly getting the rear one out, but a little perseverance always goes a long way because in the end, you will always win. So to get those ones out, I have had to use a quarter inch socket, which is 12 millimeter. So that is just replacing where we are now, which is the 7 16 one. Obviously I'm using a through type socket here because I've not got my full toolkit with me. So this is where some of you might struggle as well. Um, I've got an extensive set of tools that's in my work uh, catalogue. But with uh, the home garage setup, obviously I'm limited with what I've got. So I did buy a uh, Imperial and Metric dual set, which is uh, this set here, but struggling with certain things. So I have got quarter inch sets of Metric. So you will find that for 716, the 12 mil socket will undo those three bolts on your lower rockers as well. So. All that leaves us with now is, let's just double check which is the half inch ones, which is the four main ones to hold your lower rocker on. So those ones are quite accessible, so that's the last ones we're going to undo now. And then we'll see whether we can actually get it off without just lifting that tank up on the bike. So you can just about get that one out, so it's all good so far. Just the two on the other side, and then we'll see if it will lift. Okay, so in a strange, bizarre way, the rear one actually came off what I thought was a lot easier than on the uh, the front cylinder. So as you can see then the last part of that video, how easy it just slid off and just got to put the wire through, uh, but that's not a problem. But lifted straight off and then out she came uh, from the near side of the bike. So happy days with that one. So now let's have a, cl a closer look. I mean, that front one now is looking absolutely fantastic. So happy with that, it just matches the bike completely. Um, so when the black covers are on that with the brass tops on, that's gonna look fantastic. So there we are now with the other one off. Uh, a little bit closer, you can just see it's still fairly clean. Obviously clean any residue off here, you know, with a ragger, something like that. Um, push rods, you know, I've just pulled them out and wiped them down. A few little marks on them, so clean them down. And, and then you're good to go, put the new gasket on. And again, just remember to clean these threads out uh, for the return journey of the bolts uh, with a little bit of uh, thread lock again. And remember, not high strength. So just going back, I can't remember now whether that clip was shown before onto the uh, thread cleaning kits, but again, from Snap-on, this kit's got everything you need to uh, clean up existing threads before you put them back in. So if there's any residue from old Loctite or anything like that, 
whereas the bolts might uh, grip and, and pull on them. This is a fantastic tool for cleaning out all the threads on any engine work that you do. So again, this kit, even the thread files, again, just under £100. And to me, that is an investment for any work to do on any uh, engine building or anything in the future uh, that requires those threads to be cleaned on your bike, especially if you've had thread lock on before. It just cleans all that out and then your bolts will go in with the new thread lock so much easier and then you know you're not going to pull the thread so something to uh, keep in your kit okay so we'll put the new gasket on there uh, wipe them threads through with the thread cleaning kit and uh, go ahead and install uh, the rear one and then that's it for today Okay, I'm quite surprised how easy that is. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that little exercise in removing the top and lower rocker covers from your bike. So, of course, we've completed the exercise without removing the tank. So, yeah, that's a winner all around for me. Just saves a little bit of time. And I know it's only a five minute job to lift that. Uh, but obviously from that you can see it can be done. So the only things to bear in mind with that are one, make sure you clean the threads out once you've removed the covers and two, you can you can see clearly that there's a couple of bolts you can't get the torque wrench in unless you've got more specialist tools at hand which uh, on this occasion I haven't so I can't just go and raid the toolbox for something that uh, will uh, enable me to do that. But just by feel, three of those will go on with the torque and they're not massively torque specific anyway. As long as you've got a bit of Loctite, they're not going to come loose. It's more when you go in depth on your engine work, you're going to have to worry about that. So uh, all in all, I think that was a great day's work and I'm super happy with the results. Uh, but we're going to wait now until we fit the new uh, top rocker covers, which I've got on order. They haven't arrived just yet, so hopefully that will be in the coming week. So. So during the week, if they arrive, uh, or at least next weekend, we will fit those on the bike and give you guys uh, a look at how this looks now with the all black engine. So of course, we've still got the top covers uh, for the bolts, which I'm hoping to try and get these uh, gold or brass plated. So for now, guys, what we'll do, we'll finish off and just go around with a bit of a video tour now, uh, just to show you those both in place and uh, I think they look absolutely epic. I'm so chuffed with them, they just match the bike. So what they're gonna look like with the uh, top rockers on, I don't know until next week, so that's the big reveal for them. Uh, but until then, guys, thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to Alkamoto, and there's plenty more mechanical mayhem coming from this channel uh, in the near future and for the coming forever, just to entertain you guys. Uh, also now, uh, we think the weather's getting a bit better in the UK, it's a bit milder today and hopefully, again I keep saying this every week, we should be hopefully riding soon. So we're going to look forward to that. But on the last note, I'm just going to show you one thing because we have got the Alcomoto shirt. There we go, Alcomoto YouTube. Kindly done for me by my good lady and uh, we'll be having some print t-shirts done uh, very shortly to see what the demand is so if uh, you want an Alcamoto t-shirt and we're going to do different designs so it's not going to be a blazer with my face all over it so look forward to them happening as well on the channel uh, but yeah again on that note uh, we're going to leave you for now with the video footage of the bike so far and Alcamoto is signing out we'll catch you soon guys see you later